Buddy, how cool is it that this gets to be our classroom for the day? Talk about playing hard while working hard. It's a huge adrenaline playground. Check this out. <laughs> for cool. We're here at Bounce Forways Mall, where they've been kind enough to let us turn their facilities into our classroom for the day. For those of you who are not familiar with the space, Bounce Inc. is a massive indoor trampoline park for all ages with venues across South Africa. So do check them out. And as you've seen, it comprises around 3,000 square meters of interconnected indoor trampolines. There are adventure features, padding and airbags. Hi, my name is Minentle, but you may call me Mini. And my name is Sepang, but you, you can call me Sepang. What is this guy doing? Sepang, are you sure about that? Mini, I'm really scared, but I know I have to do this. Otherwise, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Sure, I can never do that. I don't think I can ever do that. <sighs> Tabang, can you quickly add drop me the pictures we took earlier? Hey Bo, what was that? Why would you throw a photo album at me? I didn't throw it, I dropped it. What does it even matter? It matters, there's a difference between throwing an object and dropping an object. Ugh, Tabang again. What's the difference? Indulge me then. The difference between them is their initial velocities. But before I get into that, we need to look at what a projectile is. Projectiles are objects that move through the air. In vertical projectile motion, we deal with objects that fall under the influence of gravity and only vertically. We refer to the motion of this object as free fall. So, when we look at a free body diagram of a projectile in free fall, we can see that we have our dot and the only force we draw in is the force of gravity or the object's weight. Now back to dropping versus throwing. When something is dropped, its initial velocity is 0 meters per second. And when something is thrown or propelled, it will be given an initial velocity which will definitely be greater than 0 meters per second. One thing you might see in your questions is that they tell you to ignore air resistance. Now, let's have a look at why this is so. Air resistance is similar to a frictional force for an object sliding on a rough surface. But in this case, it is a force that opposes the motion of an object moving through the air. Because of this, gravity will not be the only force on our projectile, meaning that we are no longer dealing with free fall. However, the effect of air resistance is significantly small on objects with relatively high mass and small surface area. And in this case, it can be ignored. When air resistance is ignored, the weight is the only force acting on the object, causing the object to move vertically. There are four main scenarios that we will be looking at. Number one, objects dropped while stationary. Two, objects thrown down. Three, objects thrown up. Number four, objects dropped while moving. So, Mini, do you now understand why I said I dropped it as opposed to saying I threw the album? Oh, it makes sense now. Because the initial velocity was zero meters per second. And that, ladies and gentlemen, explains our first scenario, dropping an object. But that's still not what I meant by air drop. Ah, uh, fine, Minente. Can I hit you with our second scenario? Okay, give it to me. Oh, what on earth, Tepang? Um, it's called gravity. Okay, now. Come down, Tepang. Let me introduce the third scenario. Hang on, Mini. Hold your horses. There's something important I really need to do first. Woo! Woo! Mini, I really enjoyed our office outside the office today. Not gonna lie, I had lots and lots of fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I just didn't think you'd catch that back. Oh, wow. What a friend you are. Have some faith in me, Mini. But you didn't have faith in yourself, Tepang. What do you mean? I mean, it was scary, but I had to do it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mini, do you know how basketball players stay cool during a game? I don't know, 
But since you know everything, Tepang, how do they stay cool? They stand near the fence. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Short step up. Well, thank you for helping me introduce the death scenario after I said I will do it. <sighs> this scenario is characterized by a projectile having an initial velocity upwards, which is greater than zero meters per second. When this happens, the projectile will start moving upwards, but it will slow down to a complete stop because of gravity. When the velocity reaches zero, that will be the highest point of our motion. The projectile will then begin increasing its speed, but now moving downwards and the speed will keep increasing until it hits the ground. At the instance that it hits the ground, the projectile has attained its maximum velocity. One cool thing though, is that when the object passes the point at which it was thrown, it will have the same speed as when it was thrown up. It is important to note that the acceleration is always downwards at 9.8 meters per second squared during the upwards motion as well as the downwards motion. And that, ladies and gentlemen, explains our third scenario, throwing an object upwards. Yo, I'm glad I can now go home. It's been oh, a long day. What a day, what a day. Yeah, but I'm glad we got to get more work done while having fun. You know, speaking of fun, I've been mm -hmm. thinking about trampolines. What about trampolines? The surely only one has its ups and downs. Ah, Tepang, you just mean jumping up and down. Do you think Robins would mind if we asked them to show us some footage from Bounce? I don't think they would mind at all. Okay, let's check Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Yo, Tamesh! What's up, bro? Ah, nothing much, bro. What's up, man? <sighs> Can you quickly show us some footage from Bounce? Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. It's all here. I just started working on it. That was quick. Oh, look at that. That's a nice scene. <sighs> there comes that cringe moment. These videos are always cringy, but I'm used to it now. That was nice. Oh, no! What now? I forgot to shoot scenario four. <sighs> <sighs> nice one, Tepang. You finally dropped the ball. Oh my word. <sighs> but what are we gonna do now? Oof, I don't know. <sighs> mom? Is that my mom? What? What are you yes, talking about? Yes, that's her calling. What? Oh, she's, she's here. I'll be back. What? It's a pound, man. It's never your fault. No need to rub it in, man. I'll think of something. I always do. All this footage that you're never gonna use. Think of something. Think of something. Think of something. Dream world. Due to inertia, when an object is dropped from a body that is already in motion the object will momentarily continue in the direction of the object that was already in motion. In this case, the object continues to go up and then it will reach a velocity of zero meters per second and then go down. At the instance that it hits the ground, the object has attained its maximum velocity. It is important to note that acceleration is always 9.8 meters per second squared during the upwards motion as well as the downwards motion, even at maximum height where its velocity is zero meters per second. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, explains our fourth scenario, which is dropping a ball whilst in motion. Give me that. How dare you? How dare me? How dare what? It's just a room. Just a room? Just a room? 
Yes, it's just a room, Tapang. Get over yourself. Come, let me show you another room. So you see, just like this one, it's just a room. Sit down, take a seat. What if she walks in on us? What if we get caught? She won't. Relax. I heard she went to get some spiced pumpkin latte, whatever. The point is, we have exactly one minute to wrap up our video. Focus. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we looked at vertical projectile motion by covering the four different scenarios. The first scenario was an object dropped from a point of rest. Remember when I said Tepang threw a photo album at me, but he corrected me and said he dropped the album. Yes, that was because the initial velocity was zero meters per second. The second scenario was an object being thrown down as it was given an initial velocity, which was greater than zero meters per second. Remember when I hit Minenka with a dodgeball? It still hurts and you almost broke my glasses. Anyways, our third scenario was an object being thrown up. Remember when Tabang stayed cool after taking his basketball shot? That was because he was his one and only fan. And the fourth scenario was an object being dropped from a body already in motion. I still can't believe you did that to my sacred space. Ugh. Remember, for most of your questions, air resistance will be ignored. The leap of faith does not follow vertical projectile motion as there is a force due to the harness slowing me down. For more fun ways of learning about science and math concepts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to follow us on all our social media pages that are linked down below. A special shout out to Bounce Inc. 4 Ways. You guys were awesome. My name is Minentle and this is Tepa. Signing up. Bye guys. <laughs>